What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to WWE 2K20 AI Universe Mode. This is Raw is War Week 15. You know, each and every week here on Monday Night Raw, we make history. Each and every week, we have tremendous action. But I believe this week is looking like one of those... And we are coming to you from Amherst, Massachusetts, I think? M.A.? Massachusetts? Maryland? History, and we are just moments away no, I think Maryland's M.L. The biggest Raws ever. Just gonna say Massachusetts. But we are kicking off the evening with women's action. We've got the former Raw Women's Champion, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, going one-on-one -on -one with a debuting Queen of Spades, the very dangerous Shayna Baszler. But Asuka, very dangerous in her own right. And after um, losing uh, two women's title matches in a row to Paige, Asuka definitely has something to prove. Here we go. Asuka one on one with the debuting Shayna Baszler. Behold the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! <laughs> this superstar is downright scary. As physical as they come, the Queen of Spades! And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler! Baszler! And here we go. I'm interested to see how well Shayna Baszler does here in her debut match. If you remember, in 2K19 Universe Mode, Shayna Baszler was on SmackDown and held the SmackDown Women's Championship for a majority of Universe Mode. And she's definitely looking to accomplish that once again. We're going to set the tide here. Asuka off the ropes. Oh, moving out of the way. And the Crucifix puts Baszler on the back of her neck. Asuka what an with the forearms for to the Asuka skull. Lifting Baszler to her feet. Lock up. Shayna shoving Asuka away. Irish whip once again. And this time connects with the hip toss. But Asuka coming back with a takedown. Oh! High kick and the palm strike both missing, but here comes Baszler with a combination and a kick to the spine. Oh, going for the roundhouse. Asuka now going for the roundhouse and Baszler connecting with hers. Wow, what a moment that was. <clears throat> now hooking the head of Asuka for the guillotine choke. Can Asuka reach those ropes? No. But look at the power of the Empress. Slamming Baszler down. And back suplex connecting. And Asuka feeling good here tonight on Raw's War Week 15. Baszler off the ropes. No fireman's carry. Oh, forearm to the jaw. Hooking up Asuka, dumping her on her head. <clears throat> now Baszler with a snap suplex. Cover. One. And the 
that shoulder up by the impulse. But Baszler once again with the guillotine, this time dead center of the ring. Asuka once again escaping the hold. If not, she would have passed out. Shot to the... Oh, shot to the leg, but Asuka moving out of the way of the knee. And Asuka with a cross arm bar. Right, that is a rope break. Now Baszler sidewalk slam. Stomp to the midsection. Oh, oh no, Baszler stomp to the arm of Asuka. And we have seen Shayna injure many opponents with that very move, but Asuka kicking out at two. And the spear knocking Asuka out. Victory in her debut match. Take a look at how the Empress was haltered tonight. Look at her go. Remember this? Here is your winner, Shayna. The Queen of Spades adds one victory here on Raw is War. And we are moving on in the evening and up next we've got the team of Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins the Street Profits going up against a debuting team of the world's strongest man Mark Henry and the world's largest athlete the Big Show the weapons of mass destruction and don't get me wrong the Street Profits incredibly talented tag team but the sheer size and power of Mark Henry and the Big Show and not only that Henry and Show are veterans of this business they know all the ins and outs uh, honestly I'm saying the Street Profits are the underdogs in this one but we're about to find out. Here we go. The Street Profits, the weapons of mass destruction, tag team action. Time to party with the Profits. is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 492 pounds Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins the Street Profits <laughs> And their opponents at a combined weight of 745 pounds. Mark Henry and the Big Show. Weapons of mass destruction. This is... Oh my God. 740 pounds. A little over, Does what, 200 pounds? until a ton of humanity between this newly formed team and that is in 740 pounds man jesus christ as i said before not looking good for the street profits big belly to belly by mark henry and dropping forward with a huge headbutt. Ford with a shot to the face and getting the big man over with a monkey flip. I'm surprised Ford had enough leg strength to pull that one off. Neck 
the snap. Lifting Henry to his feet. Irish whip. And oh, the corkscrew elbow, but Henry does not go down. And hooks Ford up for the vertical oh, suplex. Now he's been put on the defensive. The beauty of tagged Mark Dragon Ford in the center of the ring. Not even a one count. Maybe Henry and Big Show are uh, overlooking this young hot tag team of the Street Profits. But here is the world's largest athlete, the Big Show. Ford targeting the arm of the big man. As Big Show by the back of the neck here. Not for long. Back elbows to the midsection. And Big Show going for the belly to belly. But oh my god, Big Show just shoves forward out of off of him out of midair and there's a rising knee strike to the face. Snapmare and huge fist to the top of the skull. Quick tags by Henry and Show. The world's strongest man, the legal man once again. Now Jesus, 400 pounds crushing the torso of Montez Ford. And another belly to belly and Ford desperately needs to tag in Angelo Dawkins. Cover. One. And a kick out by Ford at one. Still has quite a bit left in the tank, but there's yet another tag Big Show back into the ring. And the double axe handle to the spine. Ford rolling to the outside. Big Show to the outside. Look at Ford taunting. I'm not sure if that's the smartest thing. The weapons of mass destruction have completely dominated this tag team match thus far. Kick to the midsection. And the spinning heel kick, but Big Show does not go down. But right into the neck breaker and the kip up by Montez Ford. Cover. One. And a kick out by the Big Show. And not to mention, imagine how hard it is to keep Big Show or Mark Henry's humongous shoulders down for a three count. That's a task I would never try and tackle. Grabs Big Show by the back of the neck here. Taking a little bit too long. Montez Ford has been the legal man this entire match thus far. Into the corner goes the big show, but there's the back elbow and the spear. Cover. Ref getting position. One, two, and Dawkins breaking up the pin. Ford sending the Big Show onto the apron and sending the seven-footer to the floor. These two men have to the count of 20 to get back inside the ring. And Jesus Christ. And if they, uh, the AI does that stupid shit where they just keep Irish whipping uh, their opponent into the man standing on the apron, I will get involved. Other than that, um, fair game. If it's a count out, it's a count out. And as usual, only one count out per show. <clears throat> Ref up to a six count. Kick to the gut. Sending Ford back into the squared circle. Montez Ford finally making the tag to Angelo Dawkins and there's a single leg drop kick and Big Show tagging in Mark Henry oh and that was a nice drop kick but Henry just plowing right through Dawkins now what is Henry going for here oh Canadian backbreaker there is the rope break 
go for the submission so close to the ropes. Definitely not the best strategy out there. Lashley seen. with the scoop slam and the crawling headbutt to the ribs. Hooking the leg. One. No. Dawkins still very, very fresh. And it may be all up to Angelo Dawkins to get the victory for his team. And oh my god, that is a 400 pound Mark Henry on the top rope with a splash. Jesus Christ. He's dead. You killed him, Mark. And the backbreaker connects. Mark Henry is fired up here tonight. Lifting Dawkins to his feet. There's a kick to the gut going for the clothesline, but Henry with a huge scoop slam. Going for the shot to the face. Oh, there's that huge punch by Dawkins. Dragging Henry to the center of the ring. Cover. One. Two. And a shoulder up by the world's strongest man. Henry sending Dawkins onto the apron. Oh my god. Overhead belly to belly. Clean over the top rope. now setting Dawkins up for the power bomb cover one Ooh, kick out at one by Dawkins oh mark please not again dear God Jesus with the diving splash that is a knockout and a victory for Henry and show and here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Highlight for one superstar. Here are your one winners. The Big Show here. and the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Weapons of mass destruction. And, and who in the hell is going to take down you get this checked. team what of the weapons of mass destruction? Just Only time will tell. But we are moving on in the evening, and up next, we have Big Sexy Kevin Nash being joined at ringside by the bad guy Scott Hall going one-on-one -on -one with Xavier Woods being joined at ringside by his fellow World Tag Team Champion Big E and the World Heavyweight Champion Kofi Kingston. Nash and Woods are extremely used to tag team matches, but tonight it's mono e mono. Here we go. Nash versus Woods. It's Hall and Nash. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Scott Hall, representing the Outsiders from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash! With found All WWE Universe, don't you dare be sour! Clap for your tag champs and feel the power! Please sit down, Byron. Please I can't sit help down. It. I got a goosebump parade right up and down my body. The New Day is And his opponent representing the New Day from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds. One half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Xavier Woods! And here we go. The big man of the Outsiders going one-on-one -on -one with the little man 
of the New Day, but just because Xavier's little, I would not count him out here. Woods, a extremely talented wrestler. This is still an important match for the champ. But uh, Nash, just like uh, Mark Henry and Big Show, the veteran in this one. And Jesus Christ, Xavier had to have been 10 feet in the air. Cover, one, and a kick out by Woods. <clears throat> Woods with a kick to the gut, going for the forearm, but Nash able to move out of the way. Onto the shoulders and snake eyes. Grabbing the legs for the alley. Lifting Woods to a knee and a double axe handle to the top of the skull. Now Nash with the back elbows to the ear of Xavier Woods and Woods rolling to the outside of the ring but heads right back in. Nope, heads right back out. Woods playing mind games and he's getting frustrated here. You don't see this too often from Xavier Woods. And Jesus face first into the floor. And Kevin Nash extremely confident. Shot right under the chin. And there's the atomic drop. Woods popping right back up to his feet and sending Nash into the barricade. But there's a back elbow by Big Sexy. Oh, Rick in the eyes. They are going at it. The ringside area. And into the apron goes Kevin Nash, ref up to an eight count. Now Woods with the headlock and the sit-out jawbreaker. Uh-oh. Getting the crowd behind him here. Woods might want to focus more on this match in the crowd. And back into the ring we go. He's into the now. corner and goes Nash. The There's a kick to the cap of Woods and another clothesline. Kevin Nash looking to put Woods away right here, right now. Setting up for the legendary... Jackknife power bomb for the knockout. These gentlemen got after it. Here are the highlights. Here, here is your winner, Kevin Nash. And that's Woods tried his best, but the big win power big and veteran and instinct of Nash was Woods too much to handle to here tonight. We are moving on in the evening, and up next we have, oh lord, the owner of Raw is War himself, my buddy, uh, Mr. Zack Maverick's wrestling persona, the devil, Axel Maverick going one-on-one -on -one with the great one, The Rock, and keep in mind, both uh, my character, Double B, and Axel Maverick, uh, me and Zach were in a wrestling group. My friend built a really nice ring in his backyard, so uh, the move sets for these characters are legitimate, actual moves that we have used in real life and are actual characters. So I, I just love it. Here we go. Another debut. The Devil, Axel Maverick, a one on one with The Rock. is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the pits of hell. Weighing in at 250 pounds. Here we go, this is the match. It's The Rock and his opponent from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, The Rock! Here we 
go. Tall task for the debuting Axel Maverick here tonight. Going one-on-one -on -one with one of the most legendary competitors in WWE history. <clears throat> Not to mention The Rock is ripped as hell. As you can see, overpowering Maverick, backing him into the turnbuckle. Clean break. I'm sure Maverick respects The Rock. Even if he doesn't like him. Who's going to end up with the upper hand? Ref breaking it up once again and another clean break They're between the two. Right now. And that look at Maverick now backing the great one into the opposite corner. The ref for the third time breaking it up in a third clean break. Incredible oh, going for a shot, but the Rock it's slaps it away battle. and backs it's Maverick right, right back into the corner. This one's starting off really interesting. Another clean break. Uh -oh. oh, the ref eats it, but... Oh, botch! Kick to the gut. And here comes Rocky with a snap suplex. Shot to the skull. And planning Maverick with a DDT. Hooking the leg here. One, and a kick out by the devil. Rock catches him again, going for another suplex, but knee to the top of the skull, and the running DDT connects. Oh, barely caught him in the back of the head. And the splash! 250 pounds right into the sternum of the rock. And the beal! For that. Sending the rock flying, and that is some major power by Mr. Maverick. Disaster there. Off the ropes, in the back body drop. Kick to the spine. Rock lifting the devil to his feet. Kick to the gut. And the arm wrench clothesline put Maverick down. Hooking the leg. Kick no, kick out at one. Maybe The Rock is underestimating the devil. Oh, the takedown and raining the shots down into the face. Don't mess up The Rock's pretty face. Oh, and look at that. The cutthroat taunt. Here we go. On the outside of the ring and once again. Beating The Rock down right in his face. The Rock sending Maverick into the apron. Didn't know if that was the stairs or the apron. That was definitely the apron. Shot to the face. Maverick sending The Rock all the way down the ringside area. Back into the squared circle we go. Back elbow by Maverick. Oh, and... Shout at the devil! The rock bit, he goes for the quick pin. Cover! One! Kick out at one by the rock. That's gonna keep the rock Not surprising, honestly. Uh-oh. And the belly to belly connecting. Maverick staying right on him. But the rock with the fireman's carry. Uh oh, and out of nowhere with the rock bottom. The rock going for the cover. cover. One, two, three. And that is a victory for the great one. Nice try, Mr. Maverick. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Yeah, he's putting in the work. Almost forgot about this one. Here is your winner, the Rock. And a great one, standing tall over the devil here tonight. And we are moving on to your main event of the evening. As we have the GOAT, the Pain Maker, Y2J, Chris Jericho going one-on-one -on -one with Hollywood Hulk Hogan. What a matchup here. Jericho making his debut last week 
on Raw's War in that fatal four-way and was the one who lost the match. Looking to uh, build up some momentum and confidence once again at the expense of Hulk Hogan. But uh, Hogan has been pretty tough to beat so far in Universe Mode, at least over the past few months. But here we go, your main event of Raw's War Week 15. Chris Jericho one on one with Hulk Hogan. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Chris Jerry O. Things just got too sweet, brother. And his opponent from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Hollywood. Hogan. There we go. Hogan and Jericho one on one. You gotta think if Jericho is able to pull off the win here against Hogan in the main event of Raw is War. One could only guess he would celebrate with a little bit of the bubbly. Honestly, I'm hoping for bubbly. I love you, Jericho. Oh, Hogan moving out of the way of the drop catch. Forearm to the face. Now Hogan hooking up Jericho. For the big oh, vertical suplex. suplex. Really just <clears throat> it in. And keep in mind here. Oh, what does Jericho have in mind? What power? Oh, and he, Jesus Christ, two. And the triple power bomb. I was going to say, this is not WWE Jericho. This is AEW Chris Jericho. Basically, the Chris Jericho that doesn't give a shit and can say fuckface. Hogan lifting Jericho to his feet, but there's a clothesline dropping the Hulkster to the mat. Turning Hogan around for the flashback, I suppose. One. And Hogan with the shoulder up at one. Oh, going for the chop. Hogan rolling out of it. Jericho hooking the arms for the butterfly backbreaker. <clears throat> now the cocky Jericho with light kicks to the face. And the step up in Seguri vintage Jericho. Kick to the gut, hooking the arms again. Tiger Bomb this time. And Hogan getting rocked. He's no, not even a one gap. Hogan rolling to the outside, but gets right back in the ring. To Jericho the getting out on the other side, down. and Hogan getting out now. And back into the ring we go. These two playing mind games with each other, it seems. And the drop kick connecting this time. What is Jericho doing here? Just circling Hogan to fly. up to the top the rope. Top. Double axe Set handle up. off the top. And now choking the life out of Hulkamania. Now Jericho into the hammerlock, but Hogan with the back elbow. Off the ropes. And the 
big boot connects. One, two, no, not even a two count. Jericho able to get the shoulder up. Oh, but Hogan with the leg drop. Is it over? One, two, no, it is not. And Hogan can't believe it. What is Hogan doing? You don't fly! Oh, going for the splash off the middle rope. Coming up short. And the Judas Effect connects! Cover! One, two, and Hogan with the shoulder up. And fun fact, that is the first time we have seen the Judas Effect in universe mode ever. Shot to the spine. Jericho putting Hogan against the ropes here. Sending him onto the apron. And what does Jericho have in mind? Oh no! DDT on the apron for the knockout! Jericho redeeming himself here tonight, but it's gonna mess up. I have to go to the main menu because that was a knockout on the outside of the ring. But nonetheless, Jericho huge victory over Hogan it seems like the the knockouts are back but you know I'd rather um rather there be a lot of knockouts than a match last absolutely forever but that was it for Raw is War week 15 match of the night I would have to give to the Street Profits and the Weapons of Mass Destruction be sure to let me know what your match of the night was in the comments down below. Remember guys, if you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Had to burp. At Brandon Brandy Bear for both. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you guys for joining me here for Raw's War Week 15. And goodbye from Massachusetts.